in the past I was using a cheap budget Chromebook. Uh, these were both built around the same time, 2019 I think. Uh, this one is a budget one that uses some N, it starts with an N Intel processor, but this one comes with an i5 processor. So there is a big difference in terms of performance. So, like, this is still trying to load YouTube after booting it up. And over here, this thing's just smoother. Or faster um, a lot of different things like the keyboard is looks a lot nicer it has the uh, what's it called the backlit keyboard this doesn't have a backlit keyboard the touchpad is feels a little more sensitive on this side this only has an HD screen, which is 720 resolution, and I it just it, things look blurry because of the inexpensive uh, LCD panel. This thing is clear; you can watch it at different angles, and it's still nice and bright. Whereas this, if I look from the side, it can get it's hard to view, but my camera is catching it pretty well. So viewable is. Worse on this uh, viewable angle, and here's much better, faster, uh, more storage. This only has 32 gigabytes of storage. This one has 64 gigabytes. So everything about it is much more nicer. Other than this has touchscreen, but I rarely use the touchscreen because if I want to run apps, it's a lot slower. I, I I can't even again playing games on this with the N N processor. Uh, it's a bit slow, and on this side I can play games on it perfectly fine. So I only made this video just to say, like, you know, I had a bad opinion about Chromebooks using these this uh, budget Chromebook, but upon using a decent Chromebook, it's it's actually a, a nice experience. But then again, if you're gonna spend four hundred to eight hundred dollars on a Chromebook. You could easily say, well, you could probably buy a, a Windows desktop, or you could also buy a, what do you call it, a Mac laptop. So it's really up to your preference. Uh, I, I was able to get this for $80 used, and so this is the first time I've been able to use a decent Chromebook. At work, we always buy inexpensive Chromebooks that are pretty crappy, and so after using this, it's pretty nice but again I don't think I'd spend that much money on a Chromebook but if you can get a Chromebook it's pretty decent and uh, the experience is a lot better